Let us go back to the year 2015. They're not going to give it to Roman Reigns, are they? Please tell me they're not going to give it to Roman Reigns. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. We have been, we have been very clear, Vince and Kenny McMahon and WWE, what we think about Roman Reigns. I swear, if you make Roman Reigns... Oh, he threw out Rusev. He threw out Rusev. Roman Reigns won the Raw Rumble. Boo! Boo! That's right, Philadelphia. Boo them. Boo! Boo! Absolute bullshit. Absolute crap. You are an abomination. I will never watch wrestling again. Till tomorrow night. I want to know what's going to happen on Raw. Or alternatively, okay, anybody around? Anybody watching? No? Good. Secretly quite happy that Roman Reigns won the Raw Rumble. But I will never say this on Twitter, and I will never say this publicly, because I will probably be killed. And all of that was an infamous moment in modern day WWE history. I mean, think what happened. Even The Rock came out, the damn Rock, the damn people's champ, and he got booed too. Now I realize the jeers were aimed in his direction, but think about, compare it, I should say, to when he did return when SmackDown debuted on Fox. You would have thought the king of the world was walking to the ring. And yet, but a few years ago, simply because he aligned himself with one Roman Reigns, the WWE Universe went, sorry, Rock, we're gonna shib all over your face. Disgusting. But five years after that, and we are headed into another Royal Rumble. And yet, I've thought about it. I've sat down, I've run the numbers through my brain. And I think the big dog is about to come on top again. Why? We are. Here's why. Now to WWE's credit, this year's Royal Rumble is a lot harder to predict than it has been in recent years. I mean, in 2019, everyone and their dog knew that it was going to be Seth Rollins. Like, if it had a little pup, it was all like, woof, woof, Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins. And you were like, shut up, dog. Stop predicting WWE. 2018 had a little bit of a nice surprise because Shinsuke Nakamura was able to have his hand raised. And in 2017, it was Randy Orton. And the Viper is such a big star within world wrestling entertainment, no matter what he does. Well, it's never really that big of a surprise. I mean, it was that he threw out Roman Reigns, but other than that, I mean, if Randy Orton wins the world title tomorrow, you may go, huh, interesting, but it's Randy flipping Orton. I mean, unfortunately, he then went on to have that program with Bray Wyatt when there was sperm on the rampway and overhead projectors full of bugs, but I don't like thinking about that. So I take it and I throw it over there. We mentioned Bray Wyatt though, and it is he who makes me think that Roman Reigns is in line for one massive push. Because if you have been watching SmackDown recently, you will know that it's kind of been hinted that Roman is going back to being Super Reigns as he continues to run through Baron Corbin. I mean, he's tied up in that program for the moment, sure, but I cannot see in any reality where that goes past January Especially if the murmurings, I'm doing this because I'm preparing myself to say it, especially if the murmurings are true that we are going to get Corbin versus Roman Reigns in a loser has to eat some dog food match. And if we do get that, I need that program to be stopped right away. I'll have to go and lie down for a week and process it through my old head. Surely, however, the reason to start pushing Reigns in this way again is because he had a kind of subdued 2019. You kind of get the feeling that WWE did this on purpose, so when it was time to light a fire under his ass again, and everyone started going, oh, I don't want to see it, they can shout back, shut up, you fools. We didn't do anything with him last year, simply so we could put him over big in the new year. Leave us alone. Because my point is, we need a viable challenger for The Fiend at WrestleMania 36, and just go through the SmackDown roster for a second. Do you think it's going to be Baron Corbin? No. Do you think it's going to be Shorty G? No. Do you think it's going to be returning Jinder Mahal? No. And therefore, it all falls onto Roman. And this makes even more sense when you learn that, yes, WrestleMania 36 is going to be broadcast from Florida, and who was born in the Sunshine State? That's right, it was Roman Reigns. And if any other name came into your brain there, you really aren't listening to what I'm saying. So it becomes a risk-reward scenario. Does WWE risk him getting booed in Arizona? That's where the Royal Rumble is happening, only to get cheered a few months later? It is risky, but I think it's a risk they're willing to take. This is all backed up when you look at the Bray Wyatt character too. I mean, time and time again, WWE always goes back to its tried and tested members on their roster to defeat streaks. Case in point, WrestleMania 30 when they gave it to Brock Lesnar and everybody was mad that it wasn't a young up and comer. But if you think that's gonna change now and like Alistair Black is gonna be the first person to defeat The Fiend, well, I don't think you're being true to yourself. It's just not the playbook they use, especially where in their heads, they can probably see Roman Reigns holding the title aloft at WrestleMania 36 and being able to say the next night on Raw or a few days later on SmackDown, ha, 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 I did this and I inflicted the first loss 
on someone who is essentially a raging sociopath. Like I know he gets cheered because it's WWE in 2020 and everything is crazy, but again, in Vince McMahon's head, Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, is meant to be a bad guy. Roman Reigns is meant to be the ultimate good guy. And there is, of course, more than one way to get to that match. But honestly, I just can't see it. Like, if we were going to give someone like Drew McIntyre the big win at the Royal Rumble, it would do wonders for his career. And I bet he gets put in the Iron Man position. But when I search my loins and when I search my head, all I keep saying to myself and all I keep thinking is, boy, howdy, this has got to be going to Roman. Because too many times in the past, I have second-guessed myself only to watch WWE TV and go, oh, they actually just did what you thought they were going to do in the first place. Because in no way does Vince McMahon see Roman Reigns as a failed experiment. I know it kind of seemed that way in 2019, but this is the same man who is about to relaunch the XFL. And if he's willing to relaunch the XFL, yeah, can bet your ass he is willing to try once again with Roman Reigns. And of course, the big thing is, what does this mean when it comes to reactions? Things have been far better over the last 12 months because of how he was used but you heard it and you saw it too. As soon as he was beating up Baron Corbin, Dolphy Ziggles and Bobby Roode, you could just see and hear the smattering of people going, well, I don't like this. This reminds me of the Roman I hated. Therefore, I'm going to start making a noise and apparently standing like Superman. And I know this is the minority in the grand scheme of things. And if you see any kind of house show footage on the internet, man, do people love Roman. But they are so damn loud or they can be so damn loud. This could be like getting into a time machine and zooming back to 2015, 2016, and basically 2017, and then 2018. And look, don't get me wrong, you can do whatever the hell you want. If you want to boo Roman Reigns, do it. If you don't want to boo Roman Reigns, don't do that either. But I am such a wrestling nerd and a very simple man. I really long for the days where good guys are cheered and bad guys are booed. It just makes everything so much more enjoyable. I don't want to go back to how it was then. It makes me sad. And if nothing else, look, there are already rumors doing the rounds that yes, Roman Reigns has been penciled in for a Royal Rumble win in 2020. But with that said, the other rumor when it comes to the Women's Royal Rumble, like on the same bit of paper, is that that's going to be won by Shayna Baszler. And I tell you, I'm all in for that. I mean, if she does come up victorious and then challenges Becky Lynch to a rematch at WrestleMania 36, and then hopefully, say it on the quiet, wins the Raw Women's Championship, I ain't going to be mad at all. In fact, I'll fly a flag that has Shayna Baszler's face on it and in no way is that weird and creepy. I'd also do a backflip, and then during said backflip, I'd fall on my head and probably break my back, because a little bit of news for you, the old Simon Miller can't do a backflip. That's the one way, like Goldberg, he used to be able to do backflips, and I am his son, but that's where we differ. Bald head, kind of beards, can't backflip. Also, when I do sit down and think about it, every time WWE has tried to crown Roman in the past, They've always tiptoed around it because they are so scared about what the fans are going to do. So I'm just going to say this. If WWE et al, if you want to do this, just go heads first in with it and get it done. And then, yeah, listen to the fans and try and react to that. But what I don't want is what we did a couple of years ago. It was like, will he, won't he? Oh, he didn't, but now he did. And now he's gone back to not doing it. But now he's back on top and he's on the floor. He's in the toilet. That is what annoys me the most. Trust in your own feelings. And if you can't make that resonate with the WWE universe, then sure, try again. But don't do this nonsense where Bray Wyatt wins and then you get to SummerSlam 2020 and go, ha <laughs> just joking, it's actually Roman Reigns' time. If you want to make the next 12 months about the big dog, just double down and go with it. And look, there's lots of Roman Reigns fans out there. They'll support you. But as we established at the beginning of this video, they'll just do it very quietly because nobody likes getting shouted at. For some reason, We've all decided we're allowed to shout at fans of Roman Reigns, even though, shh, on the quiet, quite like Roman, I think he's pretty damn good. So there you go, and of course there's every chance that I'm wrong, but I put myself basically in the perfect situation, because if I am wrong, eh, who cares, it was just me ranting on a video, but if I'm right, I come across like a damn wrestling genius. If you come in now, put a gun to my head, say, Simon, who's going to win the Royal Rumble 2020? I'm saying it loud, I wouldn't say I'm saying it proud, I'm just shouting it, it's going to be Roman Reigns. And then he'll win at WrestleMania 36, he'll beat The Fiend, and we'll all get mad saying, well, The Fiend only really had his first match back in SummerSlam, and yesterday, a little later, he's already lost. And I would kind of agree with you. I would have liked it if The Fiend had gone on some kind of two-year spree, but we ruined that hell in the cell last year, and beggars can't be choosers. And that doesn't even tie in. I just wanted to finish this with a good go-home line. Now, yeah, don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about Roman Reigns of Royal Rumble 2020. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? What's going to happen to Bray Wyatt? Like the video, share the video, subscribe to What Culture Wrestling with a button there or somewhere on the screen. Then head over to whatculture.com and read yourself some articles. Follow What Culture on Twitter, What Culture WWE. Watch more videos here. 
on What Culture Wrestling. Not a good dancer. My name is Simon from What Culture. Thank you very much for watching the Y series, which I think is going to be the first Y video in 2020. So happy new year. Make sure you go out and live your dreams. And as always, from the bottom of my heart and the top and the middle bit and the right and the left, my whole heart, heart's like there, not there. It's there in cartoons, in real people, it's in the middle, whatever. I just appreciate you being here and I'll see you again very soon.